Hello, my people. So we are going to be doing this eye right here. So pull out your purples. I am going to be using, it's called Blackberry Frost and Dark Denim from Clinique. If you have, if you so happen to have the um, MAC little snow globe, you may have close to a dupe in here with this color, with this color right here, and this color right here. Um, snow globe, it's cool. That's all it says is it's the cool palette. But yeah, anywho, let's get started. And I'm going to be using uh, Neutrogena Skin Soothing Eye Tints in Petal Shimmer. Looks like that. This actually is cooling on the eyeball. I pray y'all can see me good. Um, I know I haven't been on here a while and my lighting is being readjusted, so bear with me, peeps. Bear with me. I'm trying to get back into the groove, into the movie groove. Okay. Now. I'm going to be taking a brush like this, like a rounded brush, and then I'm going to be taking this color right here. The light is washing it out, but it is a beautiful lavender. Lavender looks great on the deepest ebony skin to the palest, palest, whitest skin you've ever seen. Lavender is a great universal color for everybody. Just put it on in a rounded out shape. This color is very forgiving so you don't have to worry about being perfect with it. Then we're going to go underneath as well. widen up your eye make it look more awake then what we gonna do see if I can find my brush okay then what we're gonna do I'm gonna take this uh, pencil brush right here and the denim color that deep denim color it's like a deep grape it's like a black purple purple black let's put it on there and we are going to go up and over kind of sweep in to this side here This color is not scary at all once you put it on. It's a very faded out color. Wipe off that pencil brush and kind of fade it out. Take that rounded brush again with a little bit of that lighter lavender and I'm just going to tap over that black to mute it out. Okay, then I am going to take Clinique's Daylight Daybreak. Daybreak. Looks like that right there. Whatever your favorite highlighter color is, use that. And I'm going to wipe off that rounded brush. And I'm just going to go in up above and melt these colors all together. Get that inner corner really well. Then you may want to go back in with that pale lavender and just get right in hither on the outside and 
I'm trying to make sure they're the same depth, the same shade. Just look back in the mirror and make sure that your tones and shades are the same on both sides. Now I'm going to go in with Color Stays little little Revlon Color Stay in black noir. Just a black liner. And we are going to make a dramatic this liner brush and I am going to take from the MAC palette you can use if you have that Clinique uh, color the dark denim you can use that but I just decided to use this it's like a charcoal gray or gray black I'm going to take my L'Oreal Pencil Perfect Automatic Eyeliner in Tender Nude. It's just a nude liner. And I'm going to line that bottom line. <sighs> Y'all, I'm a little rusty at this. I'm so sorry. Haven't been doing this for a little bit now. Then I'm going to use W7 Big Lash Mascara. My friend Stacy from England sent this to me. Okay, now I've already gotten on my Hard Candy uh, Sheer Envy Primer and my Revlon Photo Ready in, I believe it's vanilla is the color. Yeah, vanilla. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and y'all, for some reason Hard Candy, when they make smaller versions of things, they don't put the names on them. I don't understand that, Hard Candy, but whatever. Um, this is the Hard Candy Glow All The Way infused with 24 karat gold whatever face and body illuminizer now normally you would just put this up here on the um the bones of the cheeks right here but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it on as if it were a blush a cream blush now i know you're thinking girl that is slap crazy but what I'm going to do is, I'm then going to take my Physician's Formula um, Happy Blush, looks like that, with the little hearts all over it, and I'm going to take a blush brush and swirl it, and kind of rub it off on your hand because you don't want too much. Smile and then put it on the apples of your cheeks if you have to wipe your brush off and then keep blending Ooh, I got a little too much blush there but we'll fix it and see what that does is it gives you this luminous look underneath the blush then when you go in the sunlight it hits and you're all like glowy and ethereal and beautiful and this is my Cotty Airspun loose powder just like this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock in all of that together and see even if I got it a little a little too bright my blush I can lighten it up with this powder Wow.
Voila. Love this powder. Love this powder. It has been around since 1935, so I guess they know what they're doing. Then, for my lips, again, I have another hard candy product, which, y'all, I love hard candy. I'm not speaking ill of them. But their little products that they give, that they sell, never have a name on them. So I don't know what this color is. It's a plumping serum, volum volumizing lip gloss. And it doesn't have a name, but it's like a baby pink with all these little sparkles in it. And you want to make sure your lips are like exfoliated. Mine have had some uh, lip smackers on them. This is the first time I've used this, so y'all are seeing it here first. That is a very pretty color. Can y'all see this? I feel the plumping. And the one thing I like about them, their plumping isn't like, oh my god, oh my god. It's very mincy. But that is the look. I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I'll be seeing y'all soon. Hugs and shugs.